Hey guys, this is Foolish Mortal 42 back with some more World of Warcraft Classic with Flagell, our Forsaken Shadow Priest, rocking the uh, green outfit there. And uh, we're up here in Stone Talon in Merc Fallon Lake. We're going to be working on a couple of quests uh, Cycle of Rebirth, um, Cenarius' Legacy, which is a little bit more to the north. Um, Jin Zeal's Forest Magic. I think that's it. So most of these are not going to be super challenging. So what we're looking for here, um, maybe we don't need to kill these pride wings. Oh, maybe not. We do need these Gaia seeds. I could have swore that there was a quest to do something with those pride wings. These guy seats, they're just kind of scattered around. You actually have to look for them, whereas uh, in retail, all your quest items that are ground spawn would just be like glowing brightly. Which I think, I mean, it's a good quality of life, but at the same time, um, I have mixed feelings about it. When it first. Uh, um, when they first introduced that, I was like, oh, this will make it so easy. And I think to a degree it made it um, a little too easy um, because it, uh, it kind of took away from like actual exploration and... Yeah, there's the coursers. Thankfully, those eyes drop pretty, uh, pretty well, so uh, that should not take too long. Eat my spider eggs. I've got the ground clutter turned way up because I think it looks better, um, but it could actually be hindering me from finding these uh, Gaia seeds. I think that Stone Talon Sap is... there's another one. Yeah, they're very well hidden. Let's 
So I did pick up um, cooking. Uh, I've not leveled it yet. Um, I probably will do that completely off screen because um, it's not super entertaining, but it will kind of give me a little bit of a bonus um, while I'm questing because uh, there's like some spirit foods and stamina foods and stuff like that, um, which is helpful. I'm wondering if there's somebody else up here picking these. But they're not fighting anything else, so... So we will can actually go on and continue up this trail. It's done, dude. I love that. A druid up here. Sat beast. Sat might strength, agility, stamina. Ah, so that's where we're going to be getting the uh, stone talent sap. I'm wanting to say they're a fairly rare, not rare spawn, but they're not as um, prevalent. So we'll kind of continue on up the trail here and kill some more coursers. And we'll get up to the peak. <clears throat> so I talked about doing a re-specialization uh, in my last episode briefly um, and the reason is in the discipline tree you get a lot of bonuses um, so you would still go one specialization and pick up these five points in spirit tap um, but picking these up uh, like improved fortitude improved shield Meditation, Divine Spirit, uh, Improved Mana Burn, and still giving you um, like some damage potential. Um, and then, um, let's see which one is it? Uh, I think that was yeah power infusion basically you're um, you turn into a buff machine um, to help um, other people but you're still mainly a healer um, so that it wouldn't really hinder my healing in dungeons as much um, but I think just as long as I 
um, kind of maintain like a really good focus. I think healing in a dungeon, even in with a shadow specialization, I think I'll be okay. At least in the beginning. <laughs> Um, of course, when we get into like the in-game five mans, like Skullman stuff like that, um, definitely think I'll probably have to re specialization into true, um, true a true healing um, specialization. It is kind of ironic um, playing through this zone specifically um, that um, this is actually where my very, very first um, WoW character was a, um, a Night Elf Hunter, and I played that on another account. It was on the Alaria server, and I ended up switching over to um, Thunderhorn. And... Uh, started my career as a um, no mage actually <laughs> weird yeah. but I remember specifically getting her to this area and then I gave that account to a friend of mine so that uh, she could play oh. And spirit. Um, that's only two spirit, that's okay. But as you can see, our uh, shadow specialization is definitely, um, I mean, these guys are like level 22, so they're not you know, super challenging. Um, but my mana is staying up really well. Um, my survivability, knock on wood, is doing okay. So now we're up here at Stone Talon Peak, and uh, definitely in a Night Elf area. And there's actually, I I'm going to say that there's an actual Alliance um, town up here, a flight point. Um, they have a heck of a long walk, because they go from... Um, the town here all the way through here and then all the way up here to get to their flight point for this zone and it I did not like that at all <laughs> to get to their quest hub
think these things drop will also drop our stone talent sap. So we'll see. Well, not yet, anyway. Wild Fey Dragon, which I need. I need to get closer. I think it's our first dragon um, NPC that we faced off. First dragon kin, I should say. Hey, dragon scale, there we go. So we need some more Corsair Eyes and Twilight Whiskers. Um, I want to say those cats are stealthed. Stone Talon Sap. <clears throat> so that worked out really well. Um, didn't hardly even panic a little. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Sentinel Amorasan. Ooh, I don't know. He's not PvP. I don't think. So I think with Devouring Plague, we should be able to get her. I need to kill Cenarius' legacy. Son of Cenarius, daughter of Cenarius, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that did not flag me as PvP. Okay. 
keep an eye out for. Spirit and Stamina Boots. Uh... Yeah. These antlered coursers would drop the eyes that we need as well. Ha, you can't heal her. All right, 840 experience and fortified spalders of defense, which does me no good. how fast my inventory filled up and I've got whiskers and uh, stuff from these other things these botanists as well Start getting rid of something. Yeah, we'll come to that when we get to it.
Alright, let's see about these botanists. They are not um, PvP. Which some of the quest mobs... Um, <clears throat> they were actually uh, flag PvP. And uh, if you weren't paying attention, um, you could get yourself into a lot of trouble. We need uh, four of the, or three more of those, a daughter and son, and they're pretty standard mobs, so. Oh, and these course rise, they only stack to 20. That's why. I was like, why am I filling up so fast? Then I immediately pick something up, yeah. She resisted half my mind blast. Got to have that. Wow, was I completely out of wool? Wow. So I'm going to off screen um, getting the rest of this, um, and I'll probably meet you guys back down at Sunrock. Um, Actually, I could show... Let me show you where the, uh, um, the Alliance's city is. I won't get too close. Get over there before my 30 minutes is up, I think. I should be able to show you the uh, stealth cats that are over here. At least I think they're over here. Yeah, see, there's the moon whale. Keeper Al Albagorm. Yeah, that's their uh, their hunting lodge that's up here. And there's the uh, 
bite point. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go on and call that a video, and I'll meet you guys back at um, Sunrock Retreat. And da, da, da. yeah, so we'll have those guy seeds too. We'll kill these off, and I will see you guys down there in Sunrock in hopefully not too long. All right, thanks for watching.